Good morning and welcome to the Quinnebog Trail. This blue blaze trail runs about eight miles from where I'm starting in here in Plainfield, right off Route 14A, and it heads south and east all the way down to Griswold where it connects with the Nahantic Trail. So we're gonna hike all of that today. Right at the start of the trail, we've got this old abandoned house right through here, but this tree must have collapsed in the storm, big wind storms we had right around Christmas, because I was here last fall and it was still, this limb at least, was still standing. Took a little bit of pushing to get through all that, but this is the abandoned house. but it collapsed. Trail starts off on what's certainly a driveway past what was probably that old farmhouse between two stone walls. And I'm sure these are former pastures that we're passing through right now. Leaving the marshy area and entering the pines. This is interesting. You can tell how saturated the ground is where this unfortunate pine is tipped over. And got a little pool and there's nothing living in it yet, but I wouldn't be surprised if something did at some point. Here we come to our first road crossing. This is Spalding Road. And for the first couple of decades, this was actually the end of the trail, and it would head up that way towards Route 14A. The wet theme of this hike continues, just rock top along here, and going to continue trying to keep my feet dry. Coming out of that section of trail and meeting up with the Enduro Trail that runs through Patchogue State Forest. And you'll see it blazed with these red arrows. It will briefly follow the same path until I think the Quinnebog splits off again. Friends of Patchogue State Forest. Nice. It's been a couple years since I've been on this stretch of trail, but there used to be a whole car right here out in the woods and shot up by hunters and I guess they finally dragged it out. We are reaching Locks Meadow Pond. Here's a nice clear view of the pond. Probably make out the Beaver Lodge. Very well, could be a joke, but certainly feels like Locks Meadow was turned into a pond by beavers. I think this area was formerly, or maybe it still currently is, a wildlife management area, and it might have been subsumed by Patchogue State Forest, but another open question that I just don't have good information on. I do know that this section of trail here is uh, flooded pretty often, and so sometimes you have to go up and around. The trail does continue around the pond, but really the only way was to push along the, push through the brush along the side of the trail there. Pretty fresh beaver activity. Heading down towards the water. 
Oh boy. We will be lucky to get through this with dry feet. Give it a shot. Pushed about 10 feet back there and uh, decided that never gonna make it. And so I decided to backtrack and sure enough, a little side trail. And we've rejoined the Enduro Trail here at the south end of the pond. These rocky flats tell me that we are entering the Hell Hollow area. Just some of the enduro riders you have to share the trail with. I don't think that actually helps much, but you do get a sense of it. This long stretch of rocky flats is pretty cool. Off the flat rocks, we very nearly reach Flat Rock Road down there, but thankfully the trail turns. Interesting little cellar hole here, just off the trail. Coming to our next road crossing, this is Hell Hollow Road, which I believe is closed this time of year. Uh, I think December through March, just so they don't have to maintain it. And uh, we get a brief little road walk until jumping back just up ahead here. Well, this is a welcome sight for sore eyes. That last stretch of trail wasn't particularly nice. And we've got this little Wintery Cascade. What do you think? Man-made or nature-made? After a nice quiet stretch through all these pines, you have this opening off to the left here. I'm guessing it's the north end of Driscoll Pond. What do you think? But Driscoll Pond is just what Google Maps calls it. Most other sources know it as Phillips Pond. And it's actually a nice little fishing area and picnic area that is uh, pretty popular in the summer at least. Phillips Pond is a nice little stop on your hike, and then you can just jump right back on the trail. Winter in the forest. I've seen a ton of these so far. You just never know what you're going to find out here. It's a frame covered in bark. That must have hung. Very strange. Interesting sights all over. This absolute mound of shredded pine cones. Can't be an animal. Very strange. Passing through this stretch of many dead trees. 
And that's because Patchogue got hit pretty hard by the gypsy moths. Was that four or five years ago? And so there are a number of these spots around the state forest where they are taking down trees. I believe this will be our last. Yep, all over the place. Happy holidays. I believe this will be our last road crossing. This is Breakneck Hill Road. And we are entering the last stretch of this trail, which will connect to the Nahantic. As we enter this last section, I want to share a little history. And this trail first shows up, at least in the walkbooks that I have, in the 1970 version, and isn't in my 1962 version. So, officially blazed sometime in the mid to late 60s. And this section was originally blazed white and was known as the Castle Trail. And I'm guessing that's because of this structure here, which is actually pretty cool. Now, modern sources don't give any extra information on why it's called the uh, Castle Trail. So the only clues are the sound of running water over there and what appears to be some kind of sluice way running along here. So I can make a rough guess that some kind of mill was here. And the trail itself has remained pretty consistent. It's a little bit difficult to line up the old hand-drawn maps with the modern digital ones, but it does seem like it's stayed pretty consistent aside from the end and this where it now connects to the Nahantic. So you can get Another bit here. Climbing the other side of the hill now and you can actually get a little bit of a view here of that running water we heard. But a little bit of a steep climb up this hill. And here we come to the final descent at the southern terminus of the Quinnebog Trail. This little gully that a bit unceremoniously dumps you onto the Nahantic Trail. As for a review, the not so good, it's a pretty wet hike. So be prepared for that at least half the year, if not more. And it overlaps a good amount with the Enduro Trail. So you'll likely come across at least one or two dirt bikes. There's also a pretty forgettable stretch between Locks Meadow Pond and either Hell Hollow or Phillips Pond. Um, but the good is that it is a really nice forested hike that I had all to myself, aside from those dirt bikes. And there's a couple of interesting sites along the way. If you wanted to do a point to point hike, you could start where I did and come to here and continue on the Nahantic all the way to Hopeville Pond State Park. It's probably only another two miles maybe. Or you could do, there's plenty of backpacking loops here and there's at least one backpacking shelter on the side of the state forest. That's another Blue Blaze Trail checked off for me. And now I just have to make my way back to the car. I'll see you next time.